When I am 16 and 17 years old, I see uh, a race of Tour de France. So I have a dream oh, one day I will be like them and how can like this and to see and to, uh, to read like them. I am Haile Malakot. I come from Ethiopia. Riding the Tour is a dream for all aspiring road cyclists. But for Ethiopians, realising such a dream has been tougher than for riders from European nations. If you think in athletism, the best athletes in for marathon are always from Ethiopia or from Kenya, no? But um, there are not a lot of Ethiopian riders. Why? Normally because they have a first big problem that they don't have bikes. The second big problem is they don't have enough calendar, enough structure. There are other countries in Africa with more opportunities for young talent, for example, South Africa is working well or, or Eritrea is working well too. But for Ethiopian riders, it's not easy. As coordinator of the Ethiopian Cycling Academy, Jorge Quintana has brought his young charges to the Basque Country this summer for three months of European racing and training. Given the new challenges of racing in Europe, it's an experience that the man behind MTN Quebec believes will be invaluable to young Ethiopians. Racing is your best form of training. Getting exposure to international racing is, is what our riders lacked. If you think about racing in Africa, you have 50 riders in a peloton, you ride for 50 kilometers in one direction on a road that is straight and has no bends in it and no traffic furniture. The power is definitely there with these riders, but the, just you know, that experience of riding in a pro peloton of 200 riders every 25 kilometers, you go through another town, another village, and traffic furniture, and that's the, that's the stuff that really you can't buy. You can't, you can't, you don't have that genetically, it's experience, and you don't buy experience. And so I think bringing them in early enough into, into experience more of, you know, I guess that kind of cycling is a good thing. In addition to exposure to European racing, the Academy's goal is to help the riders feel more comfortable should they one day emulate Lampre Meridas at Scabo Grumai, who this year became the first Ethiopian Grand Tour rider when he rode the Giro. We are thinking about to set up an, an Academy and more than cycling. So we are trying to teach to the riders English, to teach Spanish, to teach computer science and also, we have to, to show them how to train, how to eat, how to drink. So it's more thinking, more than research, we're thinking in, in a global concept of, the, of because we want to, to change their lives. Part of this summer's trip is a stop off at the Tour de France. It's a chance to savor the performance of MD and Quebecer and to soak up the good feelings surrounding the increased African presence at this year's race. I have motivation in this moment because one of the big uh, MTN Quebec they get in Tour de France. This is first time from Africa team. So that is good uh, uh, opportunity. That means we have uh, a team to next time to see Ethiopia riders. So that is good motivation in this moment in my heart. Such a statement is indicative of the impact MDN Quebec is having across the African continent. Where once African riders would have relied on catching the eye of a European or American squad for a chance on the biggest stage, MDN Quebec is becoming a focal point for federations and riders alike. And everybody wants to be able to take riders and, and put them into the biggest races in the world, I guess. And, um, you know, we've been able to inspire many. and. And it's nice that these guys, you know, want to leverage off a blueprint that we've created and become a part of it too, so that's pretty cool. We always said that, you know, we can't accommodate all of African cycling and all of the potential across Africa. So part of our dream is that we can expose the potential to the rest of the world's peloton. And, uh, and then, you know, I don't see why there shouldn't be an African rider on every World Tour team, every pro continental team into the future. With plans to form a continental feeder team next season, MTN Quebec hope to provide more opportunities to the likes of Haile Kelmot and the Ethiopian Cycling Academy. Opportunities that 10 years ago, few involved in African cycling could have imagined. For now, though, it's hoped that the message being transmitted by the performance of the first African team at the Tour can inspire. It's all about funding, it's about providing bicycles so that they can start when they're younger because there's not many cycling and uh, bicycles in, in across Africa so I think it starts from there. It's the reason why we partnered with the Quebec charities because we, 
you know, we wanted to try and fulfill our pipeline, you know, to try and, you know, draw on more potential that's across Africa. And, and I think it starts there, you know, how many bicycles do you have, you know, what bicycle programs do you have in your country and, uh, and how we can, you know, work together to make that a bigger and better thing going forwards. And so let's hope that that is possible and, uh, and we can inspire many to do that.